Unbox the MacBook Air M3 with me, showing you how to get colored folders, the clock safe screen, sticky notes, and more. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my first video on YouTube and also first time editing on this MacBook. So I got the 13 inch MacBook Air M3 in Starlight. I was obsessed the moment I saw this color in store and I knew I have to get it. This one has 16 GB RAM with 512 GB SSD. It has two USB-C ports, which is enough for me. The charger has space for two, so I can charge my MacBook and my phone at the same time. This is the most boring part, logging into my iCloud, connecting to the Wi-Fi and Touch ID. The first thing, of course, is changing the background to something cute and aesthetic. You can find them by searching for desktop backgrounds on Google. It was very easy to connect my AirPods and the sound is amazing. I also use an external hard drive for all my content and Final Cut Pro editing. For my camera SD card, I use this USB-C card reader. For Touch ID, I added my middle finger and thumb as well, just in case. For the widgets, I typically like to have the time, the date and the weather and also the battery life comes in handy. You can customize and place them wherever you want on your desktop. For the popular clock screensaver, you go to Flicklo and download the screensaver for MacBook. After downloading, you install it and can find it back in screensaver. To reach for it easily, I also like to have it in one of my hot corners. I love the sticky note tool, it comes in so handy, as soon as you open your laptop you have your to-do list or anything you want to remember there. You can customize these with colors, fonts, size and also put them wherever on your desktop. To give your folder the color you want, go to Get Info and select the folder icon there and copy it. Then open Preview and go to File, then New from Clipboard, select the first folder and go to Adjust Color. Once you're happy with the color, select the folder again and copy it. Then go back to your first Get Info part and paste it. This is how easy it is to customize your MacBook and make it look cute and aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.